YouTube, welcome back to another player review on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. As you guys know, we already did do a player review on Leandro Trussard. Up next, we're going to go ahead and check out the Showdown SBC card for Eric Dyer. Dyer is an 89 rated card. He has medium high work rates, right footed with three star skill moves and three star weak foot. Now, we don't see any versatility with the card as he can only play the center back position. And if we go ahead and look at his in game stats in a bit more detail, man, we can see that the card does have the potential to make a really good center back in game. He does have 85 pace with 82 acceleration and 88 sprint speed for a center back that is pretty solid but honestly boys i would go ahead and recommend the shadow chem style to make him even more quick in game now he does have 70 shooting overall and honestly you're not going to get into many situations where you are going to take a shot with eric dyer but he does have 91 shot power and 82 long shots which is pretty cool the 80 passing is going to be a very important stat for the card because we do need his passing to still be accurate in game 84 short pass and then also 87 long pass that's going to be very interesting to test out now the 77 dribbling boys he does only have 42 agility and 56 balance so you can definitely expect him to be very clunky on the ball but the two categories that are really important for a center back are his reactions and then also his composure Dyer does have 92 reactions and 86 composure for a center back that is pretty good now the 90 defending and 93 physical are obviously the two standout stats for the card man he has 88 interceptions 89 defensive awareness and 91 stand tackle I think defensively he should be very good and then the 93 physicality probably going to be the standout stat for the card 94 jumping 99 strength and 96 aggression I expect him to be very strong on and off the the ball now if we jump on over to footbin boys we can see that dyer does have seven different play styles he has the bruiser and aerial play style plus and in my personal opinion i think both of those play styles are very effective for a center back he does also have the power header long ball pass jockey block and slide tackle i think out of all the play styles that he does have the slide tackle is probably the only one that isn't really effective in game all the other ones are very useful now he can only have the lengthy acceleration type and when it comes to chemistry styles i do think that the shadow is the best option for the card the shadow is going to give him a very nice pace boost he's going to have 93 pace with 90 acceleration and 96 sprint speed and then it's also going to give him 97 defending overall man and some of the defending stats 96 interceptions 93 defensive awareness and then 99 for both stand tackle and slide tackle and something that i find extremely interesting boys with the shadow camp style if we go ahead and check out this little chart right here he does become a 96 rated center back that's going to be very interesting to test out in today's video as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 player reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is the team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new dire card we're going to be playing them at the center back position in the 4-3-2-1 formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one using the new showdown dire card we're coming up against brian harry kane musiala gerard swanson makalele it's an interesting team but yeah man as you guys probably already know in order to complete the spc it's both an 86 and an 87 rated team with two informed cards uh, so you're looking at around 150,000 coins. All right, boys, first things first, let's go ahead and test out the card's dribbling. I know it's not that important, but just, just to see how he moves on the ball. Yeah, man, you can definitely feel the low agility and balance. It isn't great. All right, boys, Athena's making the run. I want to test out his long-range passing. I mean, it's pretty good right there. We do get possession, so we'll definitely take it. I think it's gonna. Be, I think his passing is going to be a little bit underrated. Now, I know it's very early in the game, but he does have some pretty good shot power and long shots. It makes no sense, boys. 70 shooting. I know he has like 91 shot power and 82 long shots, but I just feel like that shouldn't be going in. But if you do get in those positions, you never know, man. You can hit a long shot. You might score a goal with him. Dyer. A little bit of manual defending right here. I feel like when you want to turn with him, he's a little bit slow on the turn. So definitely keep that in mind. He might try to go through the middle. How's the recovery speed? Up against Harry Kane. I mean, I feel like we should be maybe getting there a little bit quicker, but that's okay. Eric Dyer, yeah, man, I will say, man, on the little turn in transition, he isn't very quick. Eric Dyer, manual defending. He does have a lot of defensive play styles. Yeah, we read that, man. I feel like in the tackle, though, he is going to be very good. Now, you guys might call me crazy, but I'm actually going to make a run with him because I do want to kind of whip him across. He's making that run. Reese James, very quick. Dyer, he's not really getting in the box, so we'll just cut it back to him. Step over, cut back. Sebastian Holler. We should be scoring right there. So far, his passing has been very good. Now, as you guys know, man, I like to step with my center backs. I know it's a bad habit. But I feel like that's really going to allow us to get like a good feel of Eric Dyer. He's going to look for the through wall. Dyer, manual defending. Okay, so the interceptions. I feel like his interceptions so far have been really good. He's making that run forward. Over the top. Eric Dyer. Touch. Power shot. Rebound. We'll take him, man. I, 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 he's low-key kind of creating chances for us, so we'll definitely take that. Dyer, he might try to play it in. Yep. I want to go ahead and test out the recovery speed right here up against Harry Kane. 
The Bruiser playstyle plus, I like the physicality right there. And it's a good block, man. I think the Bruiser is a very effective playstyle plus to have. Swanson. We're just controlling Eric Dyer at the moment. Might try to go over top. Recovery speed. He's going to look for the cutback. Eric Dyer. Ooh, we go for the slide tackle right there. Again, man, I just feel like a little bit with the manual defending, he doesn't really turn as quick and swift as other center backs like VVD, like Akanji, players like that. Now imagine we hit another long shot. Dyer with the left stick. Now we'll just go for a pass right here, I feel like. Oh, Eric Dyer, man. The left stick dribbling, not half bad. Power shot. Wow, man. Off of the crossbar. I'm not going to like going forward. He's a little bit of a threat as well with the aerial and then also some pretty decent long shots. We got to step right here. Eric Dyer, nice, man. The recovery speed right there was very good. The containing as well. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. And honestly, so far, so good. We're coming up against Eusebio Werner Messi best. This is going to be a very good test. But yeah, man, as you guys already know, a lot of people run, you know, like the same uh, same center backs. You know, you see a lot of Akanjis. You see a lot of VVDs. Uh, is Eric Dyer on the same level as those players? I would probably go ahead and say no. But if you do run a Bundesliga team and you are in need of a center back, I think he's probably one of the best in the Bundesliga. We're just going to continue controlling uh, Eric Dyer. Werner might look for the pass. Yes, that's a good slide tackle right there. I feel like he's very good at breaking up the play. I feel like he's very good at breaking up the play. It's just kind of like when, when you have to manually defend, it's not great. The switch into Grimaldo is great, man. His passing has been very accurate so far. Pina with the finesse shot unlucky Eric Dyer is gonna be have to be a good tackle man if he would have got that shot off I'm pretty sure they would have scored I'm actually gonna go for a switch right here because I have uh Dyer making that run because I do want to maybe whip it into him Reese James what a ball Eric Dyer oh what a save by Schmeichel man but that's actually a pretty good tactic to incorporate sometimes it is a little bit risky but with him having the aerial play style plus his heading is very good Grimaldo nice Eric Dyer I'm gonna maybe try to go over the top right here if I can signal Grimaldo to make the run, he hasn't really covered it, man. We'll go over the top. Eric Dyer, man, that's a lovely pass. I think we timed that perfectly. Eric Dyer, what a long ball. Grimaldo, power shot. It's worth an attempt, and his long-range passing has been very good. Dyer, nice, good interception again. I think the interceptions and his stand tackle have probably been the two standout defensive stats. You're going to try to play this through, probably. Eric Dyer, recovery speed. Nice, man. I think the shadow is working really well with the card. The recovery speed is very good, especially with the lengthy acceleration type. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Showdown SBC Dyer in a few games of foot champions. And to be completely honest, man, I think he's one of your better center backs from the Bundesliga. If we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we did go ahead and give him the shadow. So 90 acceleration and 96 sprint speed. And with the lengthy acceleration type, man, I do think that his recovery speed is very good. And that's very important for a center back. The 70 shooting was a very interesting stat because his 91 shot power and 82 long shots were actually useful in game now obviously boys you won't be in many situations where you are taking long shots with eric dyer but you never know man if you find yourself in a pretty good position you can definitely give it a try i think the 80 passing for the most part was a pretty solid stat for the card as well 84 short pass and 87 long pass it was pretty accurate just a tad bit inconsistent now the 77 dribbling is a very interesting stat because on the ball he's not great with his 42 agility and 56 balance and because he is a center back that isn't that big of a deal but the 92 reactions and 86 composure do make his dribbling a lot better the 90 defending and 93 physical were obviously the two standout stats for the card and with the shadow he does have 96 interceptions 93 defensive awareness and then 99 for both stand tackle and slide tackle and defensively boys i think he was really good man i think his interceptions are very consistent and then also his stand tackle but i feel like the actual manual defending with the card is a little bit hard man he doesn't move very quickly and in transition i feel like if you're coming up against Messi, Athena players like that, they're probably going to spin you very easily. And then last but not least, boys, and another huge part to his game, the 93 physical, the 99 strength, the 96 aggression. He is very strong on and off the ball, and he can body a lot of different players. Overall, man, I'm going to go ahead and give the card like an 8.6 out of 10 rating. I think... If he can get the plus two, then the value of the SPC is very good. Because in that instance, you can go ahead and throw him into the evolution and he can become a 92 rated card. For 150,000 coins, if you do run a Bundesliga team, I do think that he's a very good option for you. So if you are looking for a new center back and maybe you're on a budget and you do have a little bit of fodder, I do think that Dyer is a good option for you. But if you already have your meta OP type of center backs, then I probably stay away from the SPC because I don't think Dyer replaces them. But yeah, man, overall, a pretty good SPC. Like I said, if you do run a Bundesliga team and you do back Bayern Munich, then I think 
it's a good SBC for you. But other than that, I probably stay away from it. But that is going to be the end of today's video, man. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Booba, and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.